Hey guys, what's up? I Alligator here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use your iPod Touch or iPhone as a USB drive. Now, this means you can store any files on it, so you can basically connect it to any computer, just as you would with a USB drive, and just drag and drop or copy and paste any files onto it. You can install, for example, Linux on it, and boot Linux from your iPod Touch or iPhone right here. So you're going to need a good amount of empty space on your iPod. I right now have 4 gigs left. I actually emptied out some of my apps and some of my music. So I have 4 gigs left. So first off you're going to open Cydia. Wait for it to load data. But you're going to go to Manage. Sources. Edit. And Add. And you're going to add this source I'm going to paste it here because I already have copied it from somewhere else. You're going to go ahead and add that source, which is apt.dmytro.me. You can also see it on the bottom right now, right here. Okay, you're going to add that source. I'm not going to add it because I already have added it. Then you're going to hit done and go to the source, which is right here. You're going to see a package called USB Drive. You're going to go ahead and install that. I've already installed it by hitting install on the top right, right here. Okay, you're going to go back once you did that. You're going to go to your uh, springboard or your home screen by pressing this button. But if it doesn't show up when you go there, you're going to reboot your device and then install it again. Mine's going to show up because I already have installed it. Okay, so you can see I have USB Drive right on the top there. You can go ahead and open that up. Now you can see I already have one virtual disk which is iPod USB, that's what I called it. You can create disk by hitting this. And also this won't make any changes uh, to your device. You can always go back and like delete this drive right here and everything will be back to normal. Also you can remove the package. But you have to do that first. Like remove it virtual disks that you have created. So you can choose the type that you want. Default uh, is the best for Mac users. Drive only and uh, Drive plus icons. To know which is which and what each does you can go to help and it explains right here. Once you read that you're going to choose your own disk. Choose the disk kind that you want, the USB mode. Um, this one that I have is Drive plus iTunes as you can tell because it's on that right now. I can change it right now and it's going to ask me to reboot but I'm not going to do that. And it's also easy, you don't always have to reboot like I went from default to Drive plus iTunes and it just worked fine. I didn't even have to reboot and it showed up on my computer. So you can always change it. You have that option. So obviously to create a disk, you're going to hit create disk and choose the amount that you want. It's the max that you can have is the amount of space that you have left over on your device. For example, mine is, as of now, 823 megabytes because I already have a 3 gigabyte virtual disk on my device. So you can choose the amount that you want. For example, let's say 273 megabytes. It'll choose that, but I don't want to create it. And you can also name it. So basically, you hit that, you hit create. It's going to take a while, about... 25 minutes from like 5 minutes to 30 35 minutes depending on how big the virtual disk is so once you do that it's going to show up on your computer just as it would with a USB drive so all you're going to do is just plug it in on the bottom and it'll show up as a drive on your computer you can put any files on it you can even install as I said operating systems on it and boot from this now that's all you have to do. It's really simple. Thanks for watching. Check out my website at allyalligator.com. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash allyalligator. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more great videos. I will catch you guys in my next video.